Hey guys, Caleb with White Metal Games here. Today's video update is the return of Mad Max to the studio. Um, this particular project was for two different clients actually. Both of them requested different Mad Max vehicles at the same time. Um, so we had this unique opportunity to do them in tandem. Um, kind of a kit bash fiasco. We're going to look at both of them individually. So the first one here is the War Rig. Uh, this is basically a Mack truck and the client in this case gave us some free rain. They just had, said have fun with it and bash it together. I'd seen some um, versions of this truck, uh, kind of a Mack truck that done with a battle wagon before and I really wanted to have some fun with it. So this is basically a battle wagon combined with a, with a regular orc truck. Um, the body for this is actually a cleaner bottle that we used uh, for airbrush cleaning supplies, if you can believe it, that we melted plastic hard on to sort of get the general metal texture. And then we used a heat gun to melt all these different doodads on there. We used the back half of the wheels from the battle wagon for the trailer. Um, and one other fun feature here is that this is actually magnetized. The client asked if we could make it detachable for game. As you can see, it's a pretty strong magnet, and we even developed a kickstand for it. So that way clients who want to enjoy it... Oh, <laughs> I left these off for painting purposes, so they're currently detached. Um, but for clients that want to enjoy that model on its own, they can. And for clients that want to enjoy it um, with in combination, they can do that too. So you've got your trailer back here. I'll just give it a quick spin so you can see all of it in its glory. Lots of fun to be had there. Kind of a, a kit bash between orcs and some robo gear there on top. This is really, in my opinion, the uh, coup d'etat. It's the fun part of the project. The client, basically, the only request they had was two um, uh, big shooters and then something for a, a dozer blade up front. So this is what we worked up for it. Um, and it was, it was a lot of work, but a lot of fun to do. I'm really, really pleased with that. It looks like it's a mile away there. So I'm gonna bring that in close for a nice little close-up real quick. Uh, the second project we did was another one of these doof wagons, or golf wagons as I like to call them. So the doof wagon is basically a, a rolling speaker system. You've just got tons and tons of speakers, um, that sort of stuff with a burna boy here suspended, uh, about to pour flame into the air. We added these lights and smoke machines and of course some missile launchers, kind of like pyrotechnics, lots of amplifiers and uh, all that sort of stuff on the back. Got a little cannon over here with another big shooter. And then you've got your drum boys back here that are drumming onto these kegs uh, that are making things nice and loud. Uh, we used these two old bikes for, um, for chairs, and we even gave them some tail lights back there. So lots of fun. I'm a big fan of this sort of stuff. It looks a little rough right now, but once you prime this bad boy up, there's not going to be any problem at all. He's going to look great. And the two projects in tandem together are just really fun and eye-popping. This is definitely the kind of works I like to see on the table, and when I can't see them, I have to build them myself. So if this is the kind of project you're looking to do, contact us at info at whitemetalgames.com. And until next time, Put your minis where your mouth is. Broom. We got a great big convoy going through the night. We got a great big convoy. Ain't she a beautiful sight? Con